Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another session of our NPTEL on nonlinear and adaptive control. I am Srikant Sukumar from Systems and Control IIT Bombay. Uh, so we are well into the seventh week of our course and uh, we have this very nice and interesting background image of this uh, satellite from SpaceX orbiting the Earth. And we are uh, well underway into learning how to design uh, algorithms that will drive systems such as these. So what we were doing uh, last time was that we had started discussing uh, the backstepping approach for the unmatched parameter case. In this case, what we have is that the unknown parameter appears uh, in the state where there is no control okay and we actually uh, started with the known parameter case so in order to simplify the treatment we just had stabilization as the objective that is we just want both states to go to zero but as we had stated last time this doesn't really change anything if uh, you want the states to in fact uh, track a reference trajectory yeah so we started off with the known parameter case as always right and we what we did first was that in the known parameter case uh, so i'm sorry let me go back here in the known parameter case uh, we of course constructed you know these two uh, lyapunov candidate functions for the first state and the second state where x2 desired is of course the um, you know desired state uh, corresponding to the first one right so uh, so basically, after we did this, we took a derivative and we are able to show that v2 dot looks like something like this. And for the known case, of course, we can prescribe this kind of a law. All right, we can prescribe this kind of a law. And in fact, we in fact also computed the derivative. Uh, and it look, uh, that is, we compute the derivative of x2 desired. And the control expression looks something like this. And we can see that because of x1 dot, there is a theta in the control expression also right but since theta is known we are treating the known case and so this is not a problem we implement this control and we can uh, do our Lyapunov analysis with v equal to v1 plus v2 and then we are left with uh, once we apply the control and we you know get to somehow this stage yeah we are we are actually left with uh, two nice negative quadratic terms and one mixed term and then we use the standard sum of squares method, which I hope by now we have all understood very well, uh, to get to this expression here. So from inequality here, we get to an inequality here. And we can then claim that B dot is negative definite if K1 and K2 are greater than half. Yeah. So uh, with this sort of analysis, of course, we can use a standard Lyapunov theorem uh, to claim that uh, you know, all the states are stable and at the origin and of course uh, reaching the origin asymptotically. So that is global uniform asymptotic stability. And in fact, in this kind of a specific situation, uh, global exponential stability. All right. Um, great. So we, of course, with this, you can prove that uh, the modified states, that is the states at the backstepping, which is x1 goes to zero and x2 goes to x2 desired. And with the expression of x2 desired and the assumption that f0 is 0, which we already said that was a reasonable assumption, uh, you get that x1 also, uh, sorry, um, x2 also goes to 0 because x2 desired also goes to 0, right? Great. Now, when we went to the unknown case, this sort of expression of the control created a problem, right? Because there's a theta, there's a theta and so on and so forth. So this is not the entire approach is not viable anymore. So we have to start with a different approach. And what was that? Uh, we in fact had to specify the desired x2 with a theta hat, right? This is still certainty equivalence, but starting with the pseudo control itself. So x2 was a pseudo control. And at the pseudo control level itself, I have to use a estimate, right? Because that's where the 
unknown parameter in fact appears right and so if if x2 were in fact x2 desired then you have this sort of a x1 dot equation right with theta tilde being the parameter error great so now uh, we of course propose this kind of a lyapunov function for the first state right so the first state itself contains the theta tilde squared and we do an analysis this is again assuming that x2 is exactly equal to x2 design all right so we already this should be clear assuming x2 is identical to x2 design so this is of course a big assumption right this is just a pseudo control not the real control but of course everything goes through because you know we choose a uh, theta tilde theta hat dot right which which sort of cancels this term so that's what we do and then we get a v1 dot which is negative semi-definite right so um, on the other end in the known case this was actually negative definite correct so here we already have an unknown parameter therefore the derivative is v1 dot is negative semi-definite although the expression is again the same all assuming that the pseudo control is in fact the real control then we go to the second state right where v2 is the same we have not changed v2 so v1 changes but v2 has not changed yet all right yet i would use the word yet yeah uh, we get v2 dot to be the same and the control we want to prescribe the same so we want to choose but then what happens right we compute the expression right so now uh, the expression is slightly different of course because x2 desired contains theta hat and not theta itself right so let's look at x2 desired dot right so this expression is basically theta hat dot fx1 right um, and so basically it is minus k1 x1 minus theta hat fx1 so it is just the derivative of minus k1 x1 which is minus k1 x2 and derivative of theta hat fx1 using the product rule right so that's what we get two terms right the derivative of the first with respect to the first term and then a derivative with respect to the second term now when we take the derivative with respect to the second term you again get an x1 dot all right we already had an x1 dot here and we get an x1 dot here too right and that's what we club this and this gets clubbed here okay right? this and this term gets club to give me this term here right and this is of course this term all right so these are the two distinct terms now it's uh, easy to see that this is of course an implementable term no problem but then x1 dot contains the unknown again yeah so this is again implementable but the x1 dot which is this guy contains the unknown theta okay so now this Control is still not implementable, right? So what we choose as control u, which is the actual control, is not implementable. So of course we want to replace with c estimate. Now we cannot replace it with a theta hat. Okay. I encourage you to do this. Like try this erroneous step of trying to replace this with theta hat itself and then carrying out a Lyapunov analysis. How would you carry out a Lyapunov analysis? You would simply uh, I would say, so what I want to say is uh try with uh, theta hat in u here okay and v equals v1 plus v2 so and because of course you remember that v uh, already contains and right, already contains the theta uh, v1 already contains the theta tilde term right so what the what is the problem the problem that occurs is that you have already chosen a theta hat dot right and because of that you will see that this term will create a theta tilde term of course because you instead of giving up putting a theta here you will put a theta hat and this creates a theta tilde term which you cannot cancel anymore because the, the theta tilde term you got was already cancelled by the theta hat dot earlier so there's no more terms remaining uh, to be used to cancel this error okay so how do we resolve this issue that's where we come to uh, 
in lecture in today's lecture which is lecture 7.4 i know this was a rather longish introduction into the previous lecture but since this is slightly more involved i wanted to sort of repeat what we did okay so the steps are simple they may be confusing for you right in the beginning but if you revise it it's actually simple steps just a little bit more bookkeeping all right all we are doing is a little bit more careful bookkeeping here yeah so let's look at this so x2 desired dot contain the uh, you know theta of course we cannot implement this so we replace theta with a new estimate now yeah because like i said the old estimate and please feel free to try in fact i encourage you to try with the old estimate you will always be left with one term which in theta tilde which you cannot cancel anymore right because you are left with no more terms from the v1 dot right that will can be used to cancel because you already chose a theta hat dot so we use a new estimate mu yes so mu hat so the new estimate mu hat replaces the theta okay and of course uh, you know when you basically uh, try to write it in terms of the earlier x2 desired so we call it the x2 hat x2 desired hat dot right uh, if you replace it in terms of the earlier x2 desired this becomes x2 desired dot plus this uh, mu tilde times this term right so it's just because there was a theta here right so there was a theta here instead of the theta we put in the mu hat and mu tilde is defined as theta minus mu hat right so this is simply that term so this term multiplied by this with the mu tilde okay so this was the earlier x2 desired dot all right so now we choose a different uh, v2 right instead of choosing it as just this term we add a was a term corresponding to the parameter error right so for the same parameter right what do we want to do we are creating another lyapunov candidate function okay so for this special unknown case situation we are creating a different uh, lyapunov function okay creating a different lyapunov function now this was already there nothing new here the new term is here why because we introduce a new estimate for the same parameter theta okay so this is what is uh, mentioned here 1 over 2 sigma mu tilde square in v2 corresponds to the overestimation term all right so this is known as overestimation right so or over parameterization so we also use the term uh, over parameterization okay what does it mean it means that i use the uh, multiple estimates for the same parameter all right so this is called over parameterization so now we we'll carefully do this analysis okay let's carefully do this analysis. let's look at v as v1 plus v2 and compute the v dot right now remember the earlier v1 dot was computed assuming that x2 is in fact equal to x2 desired now we can't do that so uh, i'm going to write what is x1 dot x1 dot is x2 plus theta fx1 and x2 dot is u right and what did we choose as u u was uh, let's see u is this but well, u is not exactly this guy u is not this guy right u is in fact x2 hat desired dot right so basically uh let me carefully write all the terms here so that we have everything at our disposal hmm? so that we have everything at our disposal so we have x2 desired as equal to um, minus k1 x1 minus theta hat fx1 and we have u is equal to x2 desired hat dot minus uh, k2 x2 minus x2 desired minus k2 x2 minus x2 desired and this x2 hat desired dot is nothing but x2 desired dot 
plus mu tilde i'm simply copying from here fx1 k1 plus theta cap del f del x1 okay right so all these things right we have several ingredients here so we have several ingredients here i have copied all of them right so u is in terms of the x2 hat desired dot and x2 hat desired dot um, is in terms of the x2 desired dot so this is minus k2 x2 minus x2 desired right so this x2 hat desired is this guy and minus k2 x2 minus x2 desired is this guy okay and x2 desired itself is this so now i take the derivatives diligently and complete the analysis so v1 dot has x1 x1 dot which is x1 x2 and this term which is uh ah, okay i forgot to write one which is uh i believe the theta hat dot which is gamma x1 fx1 so theta or theta hat dot or uh, theta hat dot equals minus theta tilde dot equals gamma x1 fx1 right so gamma x1 fx1 all right great so this is what we have okay so v1 dot is x1 x1 dot which is x1 x2 and this term gives me theta tilde theta tilde dot by gamma which is theta tilde times x1 fx1 right so this is actually theta tilde times f1 x1 fx1 this is what i get from v1 dot okay Mm. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to wonder. Wait a second. Um, this is theta. So I believe this term gives me. Let me write this out. This term gives me in v dot uh, theta tilde theta tilde dot divided by gamma okay and uh, i think we are fine here this is just uh, and theta theta tilde dot is minus theta x1 fx1 minus theta tilde so this should be equal to minus theta tilde x1 fx1 okay let's see what's there in the next step uh, x1 x1 dot actually gives me x1 x2 plus x1 theta fx1 this is correct and this term gives me yeah so this is where there is a fault this should be not this should not be there minus theta tilde ah, okay. okay i'm sorry this actually cancels out okay so these two terms actually cancel out all right all right this is fine this is absolutely okay it's just written in a more complicated way than i expected all right so the first two terms are just x1 x1 dot and this term is theta tilde theta tilde dot this term is of course from the second term x2 minus x2 desired u minus x2 dot from here and the last term is this okay so this is the only piece that you have not selected yet okay so this is absolutely okay so now if i go to the next step right and of course i already wrote the expression for the u which is in terms of x2 hat dot x2 d hat dot and that's this entire expression right so uh, what you get is uh, first what i do is i write x2 in terms of the x2 design right so if i write x2 in terms of the x2 design what do i get uh, base, sorry uh, x yeah not x2 in terms of the x2 design but
but in terms of the error right so basically what i will do is i will write this guy x1 x2 right as x1 x2 minus x2 design plus x1 x2 design all right so this is just x1 x2 okay and this is just from x1 theta fx1 just the dynamics and this is again from the update law okay and this term now minus k2 x2 minus x2 desired is because of this term so now everything else is from this term right so all of this so so this term gives me this term all right then let me see if i can change colors uh, then this term gives me this term all right and this term will cancel out right because there's an x2d dot so that term the first term in fact cancels out so this is cancels okay so this term in fact cancels out right so that's it and then i'm left with this guy which is yet to be chosen right which is yet to be chosen right so this is just uh, this is coming from this with just x2 minus x2 desired multiplied this is coming from this with just x2 minus x2 desired multiplied right because of the Lyapunov function derivatives right now now if i look here uh, right if i if i look at this uh, x1 times x2 desired right okay so what is x1 times x2 desired and so x2 desired is this right so x1 times x2 desired is uh, if i if i expand this term it's minus k1 x1 squared plus x1 theta hat fx1 all right x1 theta hat fx1 so i get a from x1 x2 desired i get a minus k1 x1 squared and this x1 theta hat fx1 cancels this guy right because theta minus theta tilde is minus theta hat okay all right so i think this is fine i hope the signs are okay sorry so this sorry yeah that's what i'm wondering this should be a negative yeah now now this negative will cancel theta minus theta tilde x1 fx1 which is actually equal to theta hat fx1 so this is actually equal to theta hat fx1 so this cancels with this all right so you get this minus k1 x1 square left from here so this just leaves this much and that's it and then this is a nice mixed term x1 and x2 minus x2 design and then there is a nice negative quadratic term in this if yeah if i choose my um, mu cap dot right as sigma uh, times x2 minus x2 design fx1 k1 plus theta del f del x1 okay so if i make this choice this term and this term cancel out right so all i'm left with is this nice negative term here nice negative term here from this guy and then this mixed term here because everything else just cancels out okay and then of then what right so so that's what is sort of written here you see this is the update law sigma x2 minus x2 desired fx1 k1 plus theta cap del f del x1 so this is exactly what is left here all right as you would expect and from here to here of course this is sum of squares yeah again we are already used to this i hope so this term is simply less than equal to r x1 squared 
plus half x2 minus x2 desired square. This is just using a b is less than equal to a squared plus b squared. So this is the standard sum of squares. We do this again and again. So I hope you're used to it. So once you get to this, you know that if k1 and k2 are greater than half, you have this, uh, you know, whatever nice negative semi-definiteness. Only negative semi-definiteness, of course, because now theta tilde and mu tilde are also states. So there are two more states. So obviously this is not negative definite. It's only negative semi-definite. But I, you know very well that I can use signal chasing and Babla's lemma to prove that x1 and x2, in fact, go to zero. Ah, uh, sorry. No, no. Uh, uh, we can prove that x1 goes to zero and x2 goes to x2 desired. So let me let me be very careful here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. We can prove x1 goes to 0. All right. So not this yet. And we can prove x2 goes to x2 desired. Okay. And we can also prove x2 desired, x2 dot goes to x2 desired dot. So what we have is that x2 is this guy. Uh, so if x1 goes to 0 and f0 is going to 0, so this is actually x2 desired, right? So if x1 is going to 0, as we have already uh, proved, so. I apologize. Give me a second. There is some misbehavior from the pen. Right. So we already have x1 going to 0 directly from here by using signal chasing and Babalat's lemma. And we have x2 going to x2 design. And the derivative is also converging. This is standard. Right. So you have x1 going to 0. Right. And we also have x2 going to x2 design. Now we look at x2 desired more carefully. So uh, what happens to x2 desired? I know that as t goes to infinity, x1 goes to 0. And further, if I assume that f0 is 0, like before, a reasonable assumption, then I also have this term going to 0. Right? And so I have the whole thing going to 0. All right, I have the whole thing going to 0. So this is fine. Um, um, I believe you can also show uh, also possible via another route. So you can show x1 goes to 0, x2 goes to x2 desired. And I believe you can also show x1 dot goes to 0. Right? And from here, x1 dot is equal to x2 plus uh, theta f x1. Right? And if x1 is going to 0, and this is going to zero because x1 is going to zero, then this also has to go to zero. Okay, so this is another way of doing it. Yeah, both are identical, doesn't matter. Right? So, so in this case, uh, one of the caveats is that uh, the, the function f is deliberately chosen to be a function of the first state only. If this doesn't happen, uh, doing stability analysis uh, will be very difficult yeah and you can also see that you are saying that fx1 uh, f of 0 is 0 and things like that so if it was a function of both the states then then you have to talk about x2 also being 0 and things like that so this is a rather complicated uh, situation if you have function of both the states this is again something that is more of a well i mean it will be a much more tougher exercise and research exercise and may or may not work out for all cases. All right. Okay. Excellent. So what did we see today? Uh, we have essentially seen how to uh, complete the uh, stability proof and, uh, in fact, adaptive control design for uh, this unmatched parameter case. This, of course, turned out to be way more involved we had to do uh, over parameterization we had to introduce a second estimate 
and in the Lyapunov function also you notice that we have two more two additional terms one due to theta tilde another due to mu tilde right so this was an over parameterization and the analysis itself was a little bit more involved uh, than before yeah but since the problem is also more involved this is of course reasonable and you can see and also start to think that the ortega type construction that worked for the matched case you cannot actually use in the unmatched case yeah so that you understand that the lyapunov function now is significantly more complicated and more involved yeah so backstepping is the way that uh, you will have to go for the more complicated cases all right excellent so this is where we stop today and i see you again in the next session thanks mm -hmm.